What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about using and making your own regexes for creating one mod feeders for recombinating in Path of Exile. I'm gonna separate this video into three parts. First, we'll go over the regex cheat sheet I've been using for my Ephemeral Edge CI Trickster gear and the format we use for both open prefix and open suffix alt aug spamming. Second, I'll show you how to find the names of the T1 mods and create your own regex. And lastly, I'll do a quick showcase of how we use the regex and alt aug spam, as well as some troubleshooting for when things aren't highlighting when you're copy and pasting your regex into Path of Exile. Link down in the description will be this cheat sheet that I've been using to craft all my trickster gear. Using this cheat sheet made it super simple to copy and paste in the regexes that I need for each item. So in the first column, we have what the tier one mod is. The second column, we have the name of that tier one mod. And in the third column, I have examples of both open prefixes and open suffixes. I've gone ahead and labeled the mods that you need eye level 86 gear for. All the rest of the mods just require eye level 84 or higher. You can recombine on necrotic armor, with any eye level 86 body armor, and there's a 50-50 chance that it will make your necrotic armor eye level 86. So that's what I did for a bunch of body armor, and that's what I did for a bunch of shields. For each piece of gear, I have a regex that searches for prefixes and a regex that searches for suffixes. So both of these are set up to where it will either highlight a tier one mod that it's looking for, or it will have the open prefix or open suffix for using an orb of augmentation. So we'll use the helmet as an example. We have the regex for searching for prefixes, and then we have the regex for searching for suffixes. This is the important part of it. The up arrow, backwards slash S star symbol before the item name. Then each mod is separated with vertical slashes. So as you can see here, to max energy shield is blazing. Increased energy shield is unassailable. And increased energy shield, increased stun and block recovery is seraphims. So in order to look for it, we're going to put in Lich's circlet. This will ensure that if it has a suffix with an open prefix for augmenting, then it will highlight that. We put in blaze for the to maximum energy shield put in Seraph for the increased energy shield and stun block recovery. We have unassailable for the increased maximum energy shield. And then I was actually doing poly math as well for the intelligence. And if it highlighted just before I augmented it, I would search and just see are any of them T1 int. If they weren't, then go ahead and augment. But this is just kind of a quicker way to do it if you don't want to roll specifically just for the suffixes. Now, I did put an example of how you would set it up if you want to roll just for the suffix. So, this is the command that you are going to put after the item name. Very important. It has to go at the end of the item name. So for this, it's Lich's circlet. So you do the item name, and then a backward slash, S star, and then a dollar sign. And you do your vertical slash, and then the name of the mod that you're looking for. And this regex right here will either highlight for T1 int, or highlight when there is a prefix with an open suffix for, again, using that orb of augmentation. Using the alt and aug spam just saves you a lot of alterations. We come up to the body armor. This is an example where we're only searching for prefixes. Again, we've got the open prefix command here. And then the name of the three prefixes we're looking for. And then for the suffix search, we've got the open suffix command for augging. And then the name of the T1 suffixes we're looking for. So what if you're not crafting gear for a CI trickster. Let's say you're looking for armor and evasion gear to recombinate. PoEDB is where we're going to get all the names of the mods that we're looking for. So let's say we're doing a body armor that is strength dex, which is hybrid armor and evasion. You're going to come through, find what you're looking for and click it. This will show you all the available mods for both regular items and any influences that you may have. It will also show you the level requirements for each piece. So for body armor, we know that if we want to roll to max life or increase armor and evasion at T1, we need eye level 86 gear. So for an example, 
let's say we're doing a body armor and we want to recombinate to max life, increase armor and evasion, and two armor, two evasion. First, you'll get your item name and you will go back to either a note or something you have and you will put in the item name. So let's say we're looking for Conquest Lamellar, which is the best base for strength decks. We're going to come back over to PoEDB, get our max to max life. Prime is tier one. We're going to put in Prime. We're going to do another vertical slash. We're going to hit increased armor and evasion. Victors. So we could probably just put Vict, guessing. Or you could do Victor if you want. And for the last one, the two armor, two evasion hybrid, it is versatile. So we'll come to our sheet. We'll put in Versa. And we'll hit. Always finish with the quotes. And then this is a finished prefix search. So you can use this regex for on your Conquest Lamellar, and that is how you would set up if you're looking for your own mods. Like I said, it's pretty simple. Just get the names of the item, put it at, at the front with either the open prefix or open suffix. Then you do vertical slashes in order to separate the names of the mods that you're looking for. Then you finish it with the quotes and you're good to go. Now, a couple issues that I've run into is when I am copying and pasting in the regex into my search is you may find that it's not highlighting right now it is highlighting it is working but sometimes it won't highlight and you may be scratching your head and wondering why there's almost a 100 percent chance it is because of either the quotes or an apostrophe so i would just go through and delete and re-hit the quote button or there could be a chance that this apostrophe is messing it up Rehit the apostrophe button. I'm not sure why, but sometimes when you're copy and pasting from a notepad or from Google Docs or whatever, something happens with the quotes. I'm not sure what exactly happens. I just know that anytime it's been messed up for me, I've simply deleted the quotes and retyped them in Path of Exile and it works. If you guys run into any other problems where that doesn't work, feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to try and help you figure it out. So lastly, we'll do a quick example of using the regex to spam. Very straightforward. You paste your regex in. Let's say this was a rare item. You would scour it, hit it with a transmute so that it becomes magic. And oh, it's already highlighted. So we hover over it. It's not a mod we need, but it is a suffix with an open prefix. This is perfect for hitting it with an aug. And there's a chance it could be one of the tier one mods that we're looking for. It's not right now. So we'll spam again till it highlights. We got fire resistance. Again, suffix with an open prefix. Augment, not what we're looking for. So it makes things pretty easy. Oh, rolled over. It's easy to roll over, but right there, boom. We get tier one blazing to maximum energy shield. Just like that. Hope you guys found this video useful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to get back to you guys. Have a good rest of your day or night, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.